uh, in this demonstration, I'll be using the IPID controller function block to control the basic process rig model. Um, the program itself actually consists of three um, sections. Uh, this first section is used to obtain the level percentage. Um, this is the PID function block itself. And this section all over here essentially um, is used to, to get the server value. Uh, the, the, there'll be more details in my thesis, so you can always refer to that for more information. Um, so I'll start the actual program itself now. Uh, the same as before, using the solenoids and the server to control the water level. The set point is 50% once again. Uh, in this case, we've opened the manual valve, so there's a constant flow of water out of the process tank. Uh, and here it's overshooting a little bit, over 50. And the PID is adjusting now, and the water level should start to drop. So it's slowly dropping now. If you want to take a look at the program, uh, what's happening is it's going through the feedback loop through here. Um, and then it's decreasing the output, which will cause the servo to decrease in value and cause the water level to drop. To drop. And as you can see now, the water level has fully dropped to 50. Um, and it's continuing to drop, which uh, I believe is due to uh, the program not being tuned properly. Uh, but right now it's staying steady at around 47.3% and that is the, uh, the steady value that I obtained from using this program uh, and starting from a water level of uh, 0% and that's all for this demonstration.